Oh, I am so surprised. Um, I didn't expect this. Um, I also have not expected to receive the uh, opportunities that I have at UTC. Um, it's a wonderful company, and uh, I need to thank, she, I know she's sitting somewhere around here, but I can't see her, Margaret Steinbugler, um, who gave me the opportunity a few years back. She said, I, I see your technical expertise is there, but you don't have a proven track record of bringing home um, goals. And she gave me that opportunity and really thank her. Because since then, um, I've had all these new experiences at um, leading people, which has been um, so rewarding to me to follow my passion and um, have my organization following along with me. <laughs> Sometimes I just stop and think, wow, you know, they're taking my lead. Um, and it's so exciting to me to see that happening. Um, so I thank them, uh, Air Management Systems right now, for letting me lead them, and um, for HS letting me lead them in green programs. I also wanted to, well, I want to thank my husband who's here and my kids because leadership does take sacrifice and the long hours, um, but I know that they're always happy when they see my passion um, and I'm showing them how to follow their passion. Um, um, and I think that for diversity, when men, women, any race, um, any color, any background um, can follow their passion, that's when we really um, become the best that we all can be. Um, so I um, have been working with the Academy of Engineering and Green Technology at Hartford Public High School, um, which UTC helps to sponsor. And so that's another great opportunity that UTC has allowed me. Um, and I arranged the tour for these high school students to come to Hamilton Sunstrand and see our facility. Many of these kids, they have no concept of corporate America. I mean, our kids, they, they have some concept because we come home and, and we talk about it and they may not have been allowed into the walls of Hamilton, um, but they, they have an idea. These kids, there's no concept for them. So just coming in to Hamilton to stand within our walls is a new experience. And um, so I arranged for them to come have a tour and then we decided to have pizza lunch. And um, I thought, well, if we bring in some uh, engineers who have similar backgrounds, we'll bring in some diverse engineers. We'll bring in young diverse engineers so that they can see themselves in these role models. And when I stood back in that room and I watched the energy of the young diverse engineers we have interacting with these high school students who are thinking, maybe I can be that. Um, I actually like, started to kind of tear up and cry, which engineers are not supposed to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, 20 years later, you know, after I had come out of Yukon to Hamilton Sunstrand, and I looked, I, I walked into this sea of desks, and I looked across, and I thought, I don't know how I'm going to tell these people apart, because they all looked alike. And so then to stand back in this room with these um, young engineers at Hamilton that are diverse, energetic, and watch them interacting with these high school students who are learning that there's a chance for them to be whatever they want to be. Um, and the difference in that picture to the picture in my head of when I started at Hamilton Sunstrand 20 years ago um, was just really <laughs> made me choke up because we've come a long way and and it's not in doing like big things because I haven't done any anything big it's just those small little things just being there for those years um, makes a difference um, paves the way for for our daughters and um, and for being the best at science and technology in Connecticut we can be thank you everybody